bring them sounds at one time. I'm up early in the morning, huh? To get the scrella, scrella. blue face pillar, face pillar. the blade dealer. Uh, make a nigga forfeit, yeah. cause I'm the realest. Hey, niggas talking short shit, nah, I need a million. Uh. Big stepper, Big stepper. yeah. I be stepping, stepping. Cooling kit with the flip switch, bitch. That's the weapon. No drama. drama. Welcome to New York Giants. Full access. Nice legend. Bring them sounds at one time. I'm Art, and we got you. And that's it, man. Go purchase Big Passports Talk merch and support the family, man. And welcome to Big Passports Talk. Thank you for your support. Especially if the guys that you want are not there at that at that particular pick. So now we move down three more spots, but we pick up another first rounder and a 2025 third rounder. But we lose a 2025 fifth rounder. So we get two third rounders for next year, two first rounders for this year in this trade back scenario. So now we have two first rounders and What's going on YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, all platforms? Welcome to another episode of New York Giants Full Access with your boy Big Pat Sports Talk. And today we're gonna be on the G Men HQ, uh, you know, news channel for the New York Giants. And they have a mock draft where the New York Giants pull off two first round trades in a turn of events where Joe Shane pulls off two first round trades and they're going to do an actual mock draft with pulling off two first round trades. So we're going to talk about uh, the picks that they make and let's, let's see if it's a pretty good one. Uh, it's about Doug Rush. Um, as you can see, Brock Bowers is in there. So well, let's see. Um, doo -doo -doo, doo -doo -doo, doo -doo. It says New York Giants in 2024. Will they stay at number six? Obviously, they will not. They will move up. The first trade is the New York Giants trade the number six pick and a third round 2025 pick to the Atlanta Falcons for the number eight pick the number 43 pick and the number one 143 pick in 2024. So we move back two spots and pick up an extra second rounder and uh, 143, that's around fifth round. So we pick up an extra second rounder and a fifth rounder by going back two spots. And the Atlanta Falcons go up to number six. That's the first trade. And well, let's talk about that trade real quick. The number six pick, you you go down to the number eight pick, the number 43 pick. Well, you go down to the number eight pick in the first round. You pick up the number 43 pick. So now we got two second rounders again, two early second rounders at that. And we pick up another fifth rounder. So we had two fifth rounders. I think that's an excellent trade, especially if the, the receiver or quarterback is not there that you want at number six. I think that's one heck of a trade. Look how much you pick up just by going down two spots. Um, I actually love this idea right here as far as trading back. And then in another trade back, the Giants now trade that number eight pick and a fifth round 2025 pick to the Minnesota Vikings for the number 11 pick, the number 23, and the 2025 third rounder. I like both those trades, especially if the guys that you want are not there at that at that particular pick. So now we move down three more spots, but we pick up another first rounder and a 2025 third rounder, but we lose a 2025 fifth rounder. So we get two third rounders for next year, two first rounders for this year in this trade back scenario. So now we have two first rounders and two second rounders in this scenario. I'm not gonna be mad at you, man. If we could pull this off, where well, we could get two first round picks, number eleven, number twenty three, number forty seven, and number forty three, that's a deal. Like I'm taking that all day. And they say JJ McCarthy is still on the board, which they do like. 
I think that's one hell of a deal, man. So we trade back to the number 11 pick with the two trades. Let's sum it up with the two trades. We trade down to the number 11 pick. We pick up another first rounder. We pick up another second rounder. We pick up a third rounder for next year, a fifth rounder for this year, and we lose a fifth rounder next year. That's one heck of a trade, man. If we pull this off during draft night, my goodness. That means we got four picks in the top 50 with this scenario. All right, the first pick, the first first round pick, we take Brock Bowers. So it looks like we're going to be replacing uh, Darren Waller after this year anyway. So they take the probably the best player on the board at that time is Brock Bowers with the number 11 pick and reasons why they said they cannot you know they cannot afford to wait much longer on on Darren Wilder so they pick him up Brock Bowers played 52.2 percent of, of his career snap snaps in the slot he's too fast for linebackers and at 6'3 243 he's too big for for DBs now, a lot of people say that Brock Bowers is too small. No, he's not. He, he He's perfect for what you want to do with your offense. Now, is he, is he too small to block? We don't know. Uh, Brock Bowers did block particularly well with Georgia, but leaves a little bit desired in the blocking. But Brock Bowers, I'm with it. That's a weapon. That's what the first pick. They take Brock Bowers. Brock Bowers in his three seasons at Georgia hauled in 26 touchdowns. And last year he had 56 receptions for 714 yards and six touchdowns. So, and that was that's pretty much a down year for Brock Bowers. So Brock Bowers at number 11, I ain't mad at that, man. I'm not mad at that. All right, let's get to the second first round pick. Hey, there we go. We get our quarterback of the future and Michael Penix. We get Michael Penix at number 23. So Brock Bowers and Michael Penix in the first round. So we get our quarterback of the future, which a lot of you guys like. You can't complain about that. I believe he's the best quarterback in his draft. If we have a system around him as far as a foundation. And with Brock Bowers out there, with Slayton, Wondell Robinson, uh, 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 Hyatt, Hodgins. Yeah, we still need a, a number one receiver. But Brock Bowers is not a bad consolation prize. And then we get our quarterback of the future with Michael Penix. A lot of people got him slated to go to the second round. But to take him at 23, if you're going to trade up, it's round where he was going to take him anyway. So it's not a reach. I love this draft so far. Uh, following his pro day, the Giants have been meeting with Michael Penix after his pro day, so they do have interest in him. If we could get Michael Penix at 23 after getting Brock Bowers at 11 after trading down and picking up another second round pick, hell, I, I, I definitely, 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 definitely would love to see this happen. And Michael Penix will be the quarterback of the future. This will be Daniel Jones last year, barring some miracle, so Hey, can't be mad at that. All right, with our second round pick, we get Kamari Lassiter. Now here, Kamari Lassiter is a good DB for Georgia. I'm not going to sit here and fake like he, he's bad or something. But I will tell you this. I would rather have somebody like TJ Tampa at 43 if he falls to 43. But we get a cornerback. We added some veteran corners in free agency. I think Nick McLeod may be slated as a starter. But Kamari Lassiter, he could come in and compete, and he may be able to uproot uh, Nick McLeod as a second uh, corner. We never know. But check out Kamari Lassiter. He's very aggressive. I do believe he will give up some plays in the NFL. Uh, his catch-up speed, I have to look at his catch-up speed. I have to look at his tendencies uh, a little closer after this mock draft. But I'm not mad at Kamari Lassiter. Our, our luck with Georgia cornerbacks hasn't been that great, but let's see what Lassiter can do. It says Lassiter finished with 37 total tackles, half a sack, and eight pass deflections during, during 2023. With Banks and Lassiter, let's see what we'll do. Uh, Lassiter, his career, 
Zero TDs allowed, 136 yards allowed, 408 covered snaps, 15 catches allowed, 38.5 reception percentage, eight pass deflections, and three tackles for losses. Uh, that was Kwame last of their last season. And he was one of the best coming into this year. I just like TJ Tampa a little bit better, but hey, Lasseter, let's see what he can do. That, that's so. So you got Michael Penix, Brock Bowers, and Lasseter. We got two Georgia dogs. We said we wanted dogs, <laughs> so we got two Georgia dogs and a, and a Husky. Man, we got nothing but dogs. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> so those first three picks, hey, I'm not mad at them. All right, the second round pick, Penn State defensive end, Adisa Isaac. I like this pick. I like this pick. We know that Ojolari is not going to be here too much longer. I don't think he's going to accept the backup role and take backup money when he feels that he's a starter. So he's going to use this to try to get himself up and, and, and be that defensive end we all thought he would be. And if he balls out, even better. Adisa Isaac gets to sit, gets to learn, gets to watch. Gets to work on his craft, gets to work on his moves, which he needs to work on his pass rush moves. But his speed to bull rush is pretty good already. But we need to work on his, his hand movement, man. We need to get him that Aaron Donald training to get him to be able to get to the quarterback. So our edges will be Isaac, Ojolari, Thibodeau, Burns. I am very happy with that edge room. I am very happy with that edge room. Um, Adisa Isaac, Adisa, I <coughs> sorry, <coughs> Adisa Isaac had seven and a half sacks last year. That's what's up, man. So, with a pass rush of Tibbs, Burns, Ojalari, Adisa Isaac, we could keep people healthy and we could keep people with energy. That's what we've done when we won championships we kept people we had we had a great rotation at edge and i don't need to bring up the names you know the names and that's cool he has a, a total of 14 and a half sacks for his total career at penn state so adisa isaac with that second uh second round pick so this is star studded man we got bowers isaac Penix, and uh lassiter Nothing but dogs, man. Nothing but dogs. Let's see what we do in the third round. We get another Washington Husky and Jake Jalen McMillan. Now I would have preferred uh, someone that could really play on the outside. I don't believe Jalen McMillan's an outside guy, and I think we have a Jalen McMillan on his team already in Hyatt. But I will say this: Jalen McMillan's route running is a little bit better than Hyatt's uh, coming out of college. So I can understand that you give Michael Penix his receiver from co college. I understand the pick here. I just would uh, try to see if we could get an outside receiver here in the third round. Maybe a, uh, my, my, my boy from UFC, uh, Javon. Maybe we could get him. Maybe, maybe we could get uh, the guy from North Carolina, that receiver, uh, Vontez Walker. Maybe we can get him to see if he can turn into an outside receiver. But I'm not mad at them going receiver here. But Jalen McMillan, I think we have a lot of Jalen McMillans on this team already with Slayton and Hyatt. But we'll see. I'm not mad at the pick. It's probably the only one I have a, eh, a little ear eh to it, but it is what it is. Um, McMillan had 45 catches for 559 yards and three touchdowns last year with Washington. And the season before he had 79 catches for 1,098 yards and nine touchdowns and I think Jalen McMillan got hurt last year as a matter of fact so we'll see uh, he does have good production so we'll see man I, I like the, I like this draft a lot so far all right fourth round oh my goodness oh my goodness we we get we get Braylon Allen with our fourth round pick so you mean to tell me we got Bowers, Penix, Isaac, Lassiter, McMillan, and Braylon Allen? Six picks in the first four rounds? You all know what I like about Braylon Allen, Pauls. It says you remind him of Brandon Jacobs. Braylon Allen is an absolute monster, as you can see. 
Third and short situations, we are back. Third and one. Put that monster in there. Let's get that third and one to get Singletary back in the game, man. I have no quarrels with this draft so far. That's crazy. Then we get Zach Zinner in the fifth round. <laughs> man, this draft is nothing but straight dogs. Going all the way through this draft so far. Zach Zinner with the fifth round pick. He is coming off the injury, but looks like he'll be ready to go sooner than later. Yeah, Zach Zinner, let's go. We get a guy that has a pedigree and he will be able to sit and learn because we've signed two guards. Actually, we signed four guards. We signed the swing tackle. Evan Neal is on the team, so I'm with it, man. Another fifth round pick, we get receiver Taj Washington. Now, Taj Washington, this pick here, nah. Taj Washington, he's a guy that you have to get the ball in his hand. You get the ball in his hands, you have some great things happen for it. I will say that. He, he, he's, a, he's a receiver that if you get the ball in his hands, he could be dynamite. He could be, you know, training under Wondell Robinson. He could be a kick returner, punt returner. He definitely can be a gunner on special teams. So I'm not mad at this pick in the fifth round. I would have went another way. I probably would have tried to get a safety or something here. But I'm not mad at that. Williams in uh, 20, uh, 2023 had 59 catches for 1,062 yards and eight, eight touchdowns over there with Caleb Williams. So he, ha he has production behind him. Not saying that he can't produce. But we'll see if he can crack that roster with the receivers that we have. And they pick up Jalen Simps Simpson from Auburn in the sixth round. I understand that as well. I uh, wanted to go safety the previous round, but hey, Jalen Simpson, hey, he he has a nose for the ball. He has a nose for the ball with four picks that he had last year, 36 tackles. He has a nose for the ball, man. So I'm not mad at this draft, man. I'm not mad at this draft at all, people. You got you got Jalen Simpson, Braylon Allen. Zach Zinner, Adisa Isaac, Michael Penix, Brock Bowers, Kam Kwame Lassiter, Kamari Lassiter, and Jalen McMillan and Taj Washington. I'm not mad at this draft, people. We get two receivers. Let's see what they can do. You get a premier tight end, receiving tight end. You get a bruising running back. You get a ball hawk safety. You get an office alignment for the future. I'm not mad at this draft, people. I'm not mad at this draft, not one bit. This, this mock draft right here, with those two trades I forgot, that you pick up a fifth rounder for next year, pick up a third rounder for next year. Man, this is one heck of a draft, man. So, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit this big blue join button, and talk your talk with Big Pass Sports Talk. This draft was amazing. I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Cop you some merch. You better cop you some merch, man. I'm telling you. You clicking on the merch, go ahead and get the merch. Send me your picture so I can give you a shout out, man. And hit that big blue join button so you can talk your talk with Big Pass Sports Talk and join the Big Blue crew. And until the next episode, you know what it is, man. Peace. Yeah, fellas, let's shine. Let's shine, fellas. All right, man, it's time to week, bro. We done put in work all year, bro. Let's go get this night, man. Great energy, great attention. Two, two, three. One, two, three. 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 Two,
Welcome to New York Giants Full Access.